What's going on everyone, it's Short Rifle here and welcome to my Destiny video. In this video I have some amazing news to share with you all and I'm sure a lot of you have actually already heard this news, but the first part of the Sleeper Simulates is available. The first part that leads you to the Sleeper Simulate, that is. And if you have watched my previous video about the Sleeper Simulate mystery quest items and such, all of that was speculated to be right. Well, for the most part. And for the fusion rifle relics, those also intertwine with this quest line. I'm not exactly sure when we will be having to use the fusion rifle relics, but you will see once we get to the end of this. The gunsmith actually talks about the fusion rifle relics when you turn in the final part of this quest. I'll explain more about that later. First, let's get through these steps. Since today, October 7, 2015, there is a new mission available on Earth, and I'm not exactly sure if this will be available any other day, or if this just comes on certain days. So yeah, keep that in mind, everybody. But this mission on Earth actually leads you into the Rasputin War Mine. And by the way, the mission is actually titled The First Firewall. Once you get to the Rasputin War Mine, there will be a specific order the enemies actually spawn in. They spawn in a line too. The order that they spawn hints the code from left to right, just like how we normally read. You receive the curious transceiver, which that's where you're going to be inputting the code at, from the final boss, which will be a gigantic knight. Anyways, the code for this, in case you guys don't feel like actually figuring this out, hive means up and taken means down for the nodes in the curious transceiver. For the curious transceiver code, you just have to scroll over it and it will say input passcode. In case you guys once again don't feel like figuring out the sequence they spawned in for the code, I'm going to pop up on the screen all of the codes you will have to enter for this curious transceiver. Once again, how the enemy spawn, hint the code. Hive means the up nodes and the taken are the down nodes. So say like two taken are together, that would mean you would have to input two downward nodes. I hope that makes sense on how you actually get these codes. Anyways, for the next part, it will be timed, and there will be no navigator on the minimap on where to go. But if you have played the Kate Stash mission, you should somewhat know where to go. You have to get to the very end where you'd fight the Echo Oryx normally. Except once you get to the end, it will be different. There will actually be a chest randomly on the ground. When you open that chest, it will spawn in three wizards you have to fight off. I suggest using a shoddy for this part personally, it seemed to work perfectly and fast. Once you get the wizards killed, you will receive the Ikelos, which if you watched my previous video on the Sleeper Simulates Mystery Quest items, this is the mysterious item that has five different nodes to it. To complete the first node, you'll have to go to the Archive mission on Venus, hence the GA equal Ishtar Archives in the description of the first node. Anyways, once you get that mission completed, you will have to go to the Ikelos Fusion Core, which will be in your mission category in your inventory. And then you'll have to select over the INI shell harmonics. It should pop up to be blue once you actually click that node. The next node, you will have to dismantle a legendary heavy or an exotic heavy. A lot of people actually think you just have to dismantle an exotic heavy to get this to work, but no, you don't have to actually dismantle an exotic heavy. You can dismantle a legendary. Once you dismantle the heavy, do the same thing to the node, click it, and it should turn blue. For the next part, you'll have to find three Warsack public events on Earth, the Moon, and Mars. And let me just tell you guys something, this is the reason why I'm kind of behind on uploading this. I mean, I know it just came out today, but I am kind of behind, I will be honest, which I do apologize about. This took me absolutely forever. I kept getting eliminate the targets. By the way, I highly suggest using the site destinypublicevents.com. This actually tells you when public events are going to arrive and what area they will arrive in. You don't have to do these in no specific order, like you don't have to do Earth first and then the Moon. No, no specific order here. Anyways, you'll have to do the same thing as I mentioned in the previous steps. Click the node once you get the war sack completed. Once all of the nodes are highlighted blue, this will be the end of part one. You'll have to actually return this to the gunsmith and he'll pretty much tell you to wait. But this is actually speculating that the next part is going to be involving fusion rifle relics. As you guys can see, he is talking about them in the description when you actually turn this in. So keep that in mind, everybody, which, by the way, how you actually get these random fusion rifle relics is completely random. Just kill stuff. Kill lots and lots of stuff. That's basically how you get this. It should just randomly drop from enemies. It's no specific way to get these. If you guys think, well, actually... I got it from a certain area. No, no, it's completely random. Anyways, in case you guys are wondering about part two and when this will actually begin, I believe it will begin on the next arms day, which as you guys can see, this is actually starting on an arms day, so I think that this will actually be finished on the next arms day. I don't know what's with bungeeing at number seven, 
but they love the number seven. As you guys can see, once again, this got released on October 7th for the beginning of the Sleeper Simulant. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you all, and you all are excited as I am to get your hands on this exotic heavy fusion rifle. Question is, will we actually be using this as much as the Gallahorn? It is speculated that this is supposed to be the Gallahorn 2.0. I mean, I know it's not a rocket launcher, but once again, this is supposed to be as useful as the Gallahorn was in year one. But I guess that's about wrapping up this video, though. Once again, I hope you found this enjoyable and it was able to help some of you. This has been your rifle, and as always, please remember to leave a like and or share this video. It's greatly appreciated, everybody. And remember, Guardians, to stay safe out there and try not to sleep in pee. Peace out.